from the Aishin Broadcast Studio. It's the Amped EV Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Amped EV Podcast. My name is David and today we are amped to have on the show Brittany Kearns. She is the Project Manager for EV Service Concept at Bosch Mobility. Let's get to the interview. Brittany, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Really, really appreciate you being here. And just a little bit of background, we met at Apex last year, and uh, it was during an EV tour that I was hosting where I was kind of going to different booths and kind of showing people some of the uh, kind of EV things that were happening at Apex. Uh, Bosch was our first stop. And you started talking about your EV tour, and I remember thinking, I kind of just want to stay here <laughs> and keep learning about this tour. Um, it was, I mean, it was really, really fascinating to me. So thank you for taking the time to, uh, you know, kind of catch me up a little bit now. So, um, you know, for the audience, can you kind of explain what is this EV tour that, that Bosch has been involved with? I know you have been really intimately involved with getting it off the ground and uh, kind of everything that it encompasses. Absolutely. Well, first, thank you so much, David, for having me here. And I think EV Tour was a big theme at Apex between yours and mine. Um, so what we're doing at Bosch then is a one day, eight hour hands on face to face new training class. Um, we have in this class a cutaway Prius. We have a Nissan Leaf emulator card an AC systems cart, all of the tools, equipment, diagnostics that you would need to service and be trained on how to work on these EVs, rolled up into our EV training tour trailer. That's always the tongue twister part. <laughs> and so we took that training tour then around, launched it just in August of 2024, shortly before Apex. And we took it state by state, really wanted to bring the training right to the doorstep of the workshops as much as we could, instead of you know making them travel out to a training center, losing more time out of the shop. The goal was just to be efficient, get them what they need to know, give them the confidence and the skills to work on these vehicles and they'd be off and running. It's, it's really, really, really cool stuff. And, um, you know, just for a clarification, is this like, you know, students who might be interested in going into this or is this, you know, already seasoned technicians who tends to be your typical student? We really actually had a interesting mix. So there were some students, there were also actually some educators at different colleges, universities that are looking to put their own programs into place and degree and certifications. Um, and then we also had seasoned technicians, too, who, you know, are trying to get ahead of this transformation in the industry that we're all starting to feel and, you know, not sure about the, the speed that that's going to happen. So just taking the right step, getting the foot in the door, understanding, OK, if one of these Teslas or a Prius or whatever it might be rolls up to my shop, what am I going to need to do to be able to work on this safely and efficiently? Very interesting. And so, you know, what, what was kind of the feedback from the students and, you know, did you come away with anything surprising, any surprising takeaways? Sure. So one of the main feedbacks was that it was really made sense and was applicable to students to start to learn by working on the Toyota Prius. Um, Toyota really paved the way with a lot of the technology and onboard safety systems and hybrids and EVs that we see today. And so what you're learning on that vehicle applies to a lot of the other makes and models. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, you know, we always ask what other vehicles, what other classes would you like to see? And the requests for Tesla and Ford and GM content was overwhelming. So mm -hmm. we took that feedback and then we actually just launched in January of this year, 2025, an advanced and even deeper technical dive class where now we bring in a Tesla, we bring in an F-150 Lightning, we have a Chevy Blazer EV in the class too, in addition to the Prius and the Leaf that we still do more deeper uh, dive into the diagnostics on. Oh, that is very cool. Presented from the Aishin Broadcast Studio at Babcox Media. Are you seeing a need for maybe even regionalized training? You know, maybe you're, you're finding in certain parts of the country, like, like the battery belt, for example, you know, people are really interested in, in diving into the battery or, you know, maybe heavy duty is really popular in certain areas. Are, are you seeing anything of that nature? We are. So um, aside from just EV, you know, we also have diesel training. Bosch is a leader in a lot of diesel injectors and repairs and maintenance in that regard. So we have regional diesel training that we also offer. Um, the other big push that we're getting is ADAS. So as vehicles are becoming you know, more connected, there's a, 
a lot of sensors, calibrations, tuning that needs to be done in that sense, um, we're getting requests for ADAS training. And with Bosch's expertise in the manufacturing we do, and a lot of those sensors and working with the OEs, it seems like only the natural next step for us to mm -hmm. do something regional where we can really bring this expertise and help spin up more uh, shops and techs that are able to do these ADAS calibrations. Yeah, yeah. And of course, that makes a lot of sense. You know, EVs and, and ADAS, you know, the EVs, they've got all of this technology on them. It just makes sense to be able to work on those systems as well. Um, you know, I'm wondering, as this market continues to expand, of course, it's evolving so quickly and we're seeing, um, you know, the way that these vehicles are, are manufactured even from year to year can, can drastically change. I'm wondering, from your perspective, what do you believe is going to kind of be the role of tomorrow's technician, you know, the, the technician who's going to be working on these EVs, what are they going to be doing differently? Other than, you know, of course, really diving into that electrical system, is there anything kind of outside of that scope? Yeah, so you nailed it. Vehicles are becoming more connected. So it's not just going to be the mechanical fixes that maybe we're used to thinking of when we think of these vehicles, but you know, it's so much more software defined and they're going to need to be familiar with firmware updates, the sensor technologies, recalibrations, all of that. And so that is encompassed in several different training programs that we do have from Bosch. Mm -hmm. um, and we really try to be a partner to the workshops, no matter what car or vehicle rolls up to their door, but just being able to support them, say, hey, you know, here's what we can do to fix this. Here's the training classes that we would suggest and provide and go from there to build that expertise. Oh, fantastic. Um, you know, of course, EVs are becoming more and more mainstream, you know, every, every month, every year. Um, how do you see the tour evolving with how EVs evolve? You know, how do you keep up with that evolution? They're changing so quickly. Yeah, so um, I think ourselves and then a lot of the other training suppliers in the market actually are starting to bring more and more of this hands-on element to their classes. Um, there, when we started this two, two and a half years ago to put together this EV tour and this one day class concept, uh, there were maybe only two or three other options out there in the market for hands-on or face-to-face -face EV training. Hmm. And now it's really nice to see that there's, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten other providers of something similar. Hmm. And so it just gives technicians more options. And I think that we need to continue to do that, uh, just to really educate, you know, how do you work on these safely? And how do you service these vehicles? I think there's so many, uh, I'll say misconceptions maybe <laughs> around these aren't some sort of oil free or maintenance free spaceships. You know, they are vehicles <laughs> and they do need sure, service sure. And, and they have oil, even if we maybe just don't call it oil, um, but, but they do need to be maintained as well. And so educating not just technicians, but educating the public or vehicle owners is all part of what we're striving to do. Absolutely. And, you know, if a technician is, is interested in maybe the, the next iteration of this tour, what's the best way for them to look into this and, you know, maybe attend themselves? Sure. So on Bosch-training-solutions.com, mm -hmm. that's our learning management system. And right on the homepage, we actually do have a whole section about the Bosch EV training tour, um, links to go and see where we're going to be bringing the tour to next, our full schedule, you can purchase seats and sign up and register for a class that way. Um, and then as well as all the other training classes that we have to offer are available on that same platform as well. Wonderful. Brittany, this has been fantastic. Thank you for catching up with me. Uh, I would love to do it again after, you know, the next leg of the tour. Maybe we can see how it's evolved even further. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, David. Fantastic. Anytime. Take care. <laughs> Okay, really interesting stuff going on over there at Bosch and huge props to Brittany and her team for getting this tour off the ground. I mean, there is not enough EV training to go around out there and technicians are interested in it. So just fantastic. I cannot wait to see where it goes in the future. Thanks for joining us. Take care. I'm going to try to say EV tour training trailer five times fast. EV tour training trailer, EV tour training trailer, EV tour training trailer, EV tour training trailer, EV tour training trailer.